Wade. Thanks for joining me today. In this episode, we're going to review my experience with sewing up two patterns. It's actually this top and the bottoms that I'm wearing now. So as far as the top, this is a free pattern. It is the cow neck sweatshirt by Me So Crazy, which is also sewingrabbit.com. And it's by Jessica Rabbit, who's a blogger and a sewist. Now, I will say that I thoroughly enjoyed sewing this top. It was um, not difficult at all for me. And honestly, I looked at the instructions and, you know, of course, read it through when I first downloaded the pattern. However, um, because I've had, I've sewn some sweatshirts as well as other tops, the only thing that I looked at um, as I was creating this was just to make sure I had the um, the cow neck casing right. Other than that, it was pretty much just autopilot <laughs> putting this sweatshirt together. So as far as sizing is concerned, this comes in an extra small through an XXL. And so that accommodates a bust size of 42 to 32 and a waist of 38 to 26. Now I sold a size large which account what well, the finished garment was a 49 and then the waist was a 38 which if you just go by the sizing on um i guess the website or the start of it it i, I should have sewn a, an extra large but because there's like a nine or seven inch difference between the largest finished garment sizes and actually my measurement i felt more comfortable in just going ahead and making the large the other thing is that it does use a half inch seam allowance but because i was doing this on my serger and i honestly didn't want to fool with trying to make sure i stayed with the three eighths inch <laughs> seam allowance i just did a quarter inch seam allowance so i didn't use my blade at all i just ran it straight through my serger and so you know with that a little bit of additional space with a smaller seam allowance and then of course just the finished garment measurements i was comfortable in a size large and i will say that i do like the way it fits now as far as um the pattern itself it calls for all sizes to use two and a quarter um yards of fabric which seems a little odd because it's like okay an extra small uses the same amount as a 2xl so i mean maybe she was just being generous and making sure you had plenty of fabric um, in case you made a mistake or something or you know you wanted to do something different or needed to grade or whatever but um i will say that i think it's pretty true in terms of this large that i used about two i guess um yards of fabric now it does recommend a 58 inch width so if you are using something smaller of course you're going to need more fabric than that now the pattern itself has 20 pages and they are colored in terms of the various sizes so it's not the different dotted lines it's actually color coded which of course if you don't want to print in color you don't have to but i think that's great that she has it in different colors now the the sizes aren't layered but again this is a free pattern and so sometimes we can't expect to have all the bells and whistles right <laughs> but it is something that um, was fairly simple to put together so the pattern itself has six pieces you cut the front on the fold the back on the fold you have your sleeve as well as a sleeve cuff and you have a waistband you also have this cow neck the only other notion you need besides thread would be um, some twill. She um, says twill tape. I didn't have that. I had some shoe strings that I hadn't used in shoes at all. So I just put that through for now. But I do want to get some of those fat laces to make it look more retail friendly <laughs> or ready to wear friendly. So I'll, I'll be swapping those out next time I get to the store and, you know, remember to look for them. But all in all, this was fairly easy. Like I said, I pretty much did everything, or I should say 99% of the construction on my serger, again, just using that quarter inch seam allowance. But the only one I didn't use was for the casing for the drawstring. Now, 
I have seen videos where folks have shown where you can, I guess, turn it a certain way and surge the inside. So perhaps you can do this 100% on the serger. I just wasn't there yet. And maybe I'll try that on something else or just in practice to see if I can get it or if I like the way it looks on the outside and maybe be able to make the next one 100% on the serger. If you don't have a serger, you can just use a zigzag stitch on your sewing machine and pretty much get the same effect. But all in all, this was a great pattern to put together. Um, as you see, I did some color blocking <laughs> um, on the sleeve and that's because with this a fabric, it, I actually purchased this from Hobby Lobby and I'll have some notes so I can make sure that I <laughs> tell you the right um, description of it. It's called the Blush Sweatshirt Fleece. It is 58 to 60 inches and it's 88% polyester and 20% cotton. And it has very little stretch to it. Um, but it was, you know, something that was on sale, I think for like seven bucks or maybe even five bucks. It was like really, really low in terms of cost. And so I picked up, I think two, three, maybe even four yards of this fabric. And so because it didn't have a lot of stretch in it, I went ahead and used some of my other fabric for the cuff and the waistband, just so it can have some give and recovery to it on my, um, you know, on my wrist as well as my waist. However, I think that looks pretty, pretty good together. <laughs> so um, I'll link all the information below about this blush fabric as well as the pattern itself. I do recommend you go out and grab this. She does have other patterns on her website. There's a knit trapeze or tent dress that she has there as well as a few other things for adults. Mainly she has a lot of children's sews, um, lots of dresses and things like that. So if you're looking at sewing for someone younger, um, then that's a great site to go to as well. In addition to her own patterns, she actually talks about some other patterns. So some of the commercial and perhaps other indie patterns that she's sewn up as well. So whether it's hacking or doing some type of modification to it, you may find additional information that would be useful for you. Again, I'll leave all of that in the description box, but for this free cow neck sweatshirt, it is a win. I am looking forward to making more of these this fall and it is just something that I wanted to just wear and lounge around the house in. Um, but because of how it turned out, I can see me making more of these actually for my everyday, you know, when I go outside <laughs> wear as well. So that's a plus in my book. Now, as far as the pants, the pants are Quick Sew 3663. Yes, this is a men's pants pattern. Now I do have a few female or women patterns. However, most of them are like either um, jogger pants or they're more form fitting. And because I wanted this to be a lounge set, I wanted it to be a little looser. And so I figured, okay, for men, you know, nine times out of 10 is pretty boxy. So that would give me the fit or the feel that I wanted. So it was just a matter of figuring out what size to make. <laughs> so now this pattern comes in a small to XXL, which accommodates a waist of 46 to 28 and a hip of 53 to 35. Now I will say that those are the sizes on the pattern. The finished garment, you know, of course, is a little bigger than that. And so I made a size medium. And the reason why I did that is because most men patterns, they don't accommodate, you know, hips and buttocks. And so I wanted to make sure I had plenty of room and not have it, you know, again, close to my body. And so I made the medium and that um, fits fine with me. It was a fairly simple make. You have it, the, the version that I did because all I did was the pants front and back with the seam pockets. It has the option to do a drawstring as well as back pockets, but I omitted those. I, I didn't need them for just, you know, what I was looking for. It does um, say for a 60 inch fabric that you would need two and three fourths to one and three fourths yards of fabric. Or if you're using a 45 inch, you would need two and seven eighths to two and five eighths yards of fabric. 
Now 45 means that this pattern is both for knit as well as woven. And so it's asking for a medium weight knit and a or a medium weight woven and a firm knit um, fabric. So you have some great options there in terms of if you want knit or if you want you know something woven like scrubs or something like that. Again, like I said, I just did the very basic of it um, and it turned out great for me. Now for fabric, what I used was the Tawny Orange Model Loungewear Fleece from Joanne. This is 67% Model, 28% Polyester, and 5% Spandex. It's 58 inches in width and I think I used about two maybe two and a half yards it wasn't quite the full amount that they said i would need on the pattern and that's because again i didn't use or didn't do the back pockets on it and because it's you know for a, a man i think that's like five nine or something and i'm five five i was i cut off i think maybe three two yeah about three to four inches off of the length and so that's why i didn't need as much fabric but a very um clear pattern to sew up like I said I just did the very basic of it and I think if I make those these again I may go down to a small and just do a smaller seam allowance on it but all in all I do like both of these patterns I was quite pleased with the results of them they are both very comfortable nine times out of ten I will probably make it <laughs> the top in this model um, all the way through or because I have some of this left in the blush I may do some contrasting with the, the neck I don't know we shall see but or make some shorts to go with this um, to lounge around the house as well but I will leave all that information about the patterns about the fabric and the description box below so um, thanks for joining me. Thanks for walking through life with me on this sewing journey and I'll see you next time. Bye.